very good morning to all of you. Today, I, Mansha Kajuria, librarian of Government MAM College, Jammu, want to give presentation on the topic, role of Infibnet in education. First of all, I will start with the introduction. Infibnet stands for Library and Information Network. It is an autonomous inter-university center of UGC of India. Its headquarters is at Gujarat University campus, Ahmedabad. It was initiated in March 1991 as a project under IUCAA. It became an independent IUC, that is Inter-University Centre in 1996. It plays a major player in promoting scholarly communication among academicians and researchers in India. Now, what are the objectives of Inflipnet? Inflipnet promotes scholarly communication among academicians and researchers to modernize the library and information center in the country. It provides speedy and efficient services to the end users. It modernizes university libraries in India using the technology to utilize the information to collaborate with institutions, library, information center and other organization center in India and abroad in the field relevant to the objectives of the center. It encourages cooperation among libraries, documentation centers and information centers in the country. Now, what are the what is the mission and vision? It provides effective and efficient access to knowledge, creation of open access digital repositories, develop tools and techniques to assess information anytime, anywhere, it provides access to peer-reviewed scholarly electronic resources. It strengthens educational institutions with value-added services. Now, what are the goals of Inflipnet? It achieves complete automation of library in educational institutions. It creates union catalog of documents available in library in online and real-time environment. It provides access to scholarly and peer-reviewed electronic resources to the universities. After, after this, what are the major activities of Infinet? First, e Shala, Indicate Union Catalog, Analyst Program, Shod Ganga, Vidya Mitra, Shod Gangotri, e Shod Sindhu, Vidwan Database, Infoport, and Shod Shuddhi. First of all, I will start with EPG Parshala. EPG Parshala is an initiative of MHRD under its National Mission on Education through ICT, being executed by the UGC. It covers 77 subjects at postgraduate level. It includes e content in different subjects across the discipline of social sciences, arts, fine arts, humanities, natural, and mathematical sciences. After this, Indicat, which is a free online union catalog of books, theses, serials of major university libraries in India. This union catalog contains bibliographic description, location, and holding information for books and journals, theses in all the subjects. After this analyst, this project entitled National Library and Information Services Infrastructure for Scholarly Content, which is being executed by e Sindhu Consortium and Indus AICT Consortium, IIT Delhi. It provides access to e-resources to students, researchers, faculty from college and other beneficiary institutions. It has 3,409 registered colleges. After that, Shodanga. This project is very important for researchers and scholars. Shodanga is the name point to denote digital repository of Indian electronic thesis and dissertation set up by the Infinet Center. It provides a platform for researchers to deposit their PhD thesis and make it available to the entire scholarly community in an open access format. After that, Vidya Mitra. Vidya Mitra is an online learning portal for all the e-content projects developed under National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology, that is MHRD. 
This portal provides facility to search and browse all hosted content where a learner can easily assess the desired material, including audio and video learning material, textual material, multimedia and rich material through a single interface. After this, Shodhan Gotri, which is a repository of research in progress called Shodhan Gotri, that for 6,000 synopsis approved research proposal submitted by 62 universities. Synopsis in Shodhanga 3 would later be mapped to full text in Shodhanga. As such, once the full text thesis is submitted for the synopsis, a link to full text thesis would be provided from Shodhanga 3 to Shodhanga. Then e Shod Sindhu. e Shod Sindhu will continue to provide current as well as archival access to more than 15,000 core and peer-reviewed journals. The main objective of Eshot Sindhu Consortium for Higher Education is to provide access to qualitative e-resources including full text, bibliographic and factual database to academic institutions at a lower rate of subscription. After this, Vidwan database. Vidwan is the premium database of profile of scientists, researchers and other faculty members at leading academic institutions and other research and development organizations involved in teaching and research in India. It provides important information about the expert background, contact address, experiences, scholarly publications, skill and accomplishment, and research identity. After this, InfoCore, the Infinet Center promotes open access to Indian scholarly content through the InfoCore a subject gateway to Indian electronic resources. This center use and promote in huge, a well-known subject gateway developed by Mimas UK. Infoport is designed and developed to serve as a comprehensive gateway to all Indian scholarly content. After that, Shod Suddhi, the MHRD of Government of India has initiated a program Shod should be, which provide access to a plagiarism detection software, that is PDS, to all universities and institutions in India. Under this initiative, Urkant, a web-based plagiarism detected software system, is being provided to all the users of the universities and institutions in the country. Thank you. This completes my topic. Thanks for patience. Thank you very much.